a chetnik serve that everybody says are crazy fucking blood hungry people. <laughs> Just kidding, my friends. Man, you know, it's been a crazy couple weeks here in Serbia. Marko Juric, the Serbian politician, goes down into the southern part of Serbia. He had permission. They've been, uh, if you need permission to go to part of your own country, he goes down into the southern part of his country, the Albanian uh, special forces and everybody viciously arrests the guy, treats him like dog shit, they're taking selfies and stuff with it. You know, a lot of people here, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get in too much into politics in this video because it's totally against what I was going to discuss. But you guys who watch my videos know how I am. My mind goes all over the place. I'll end up slitting my throat probably. Uh, but such a double standard in the world, okay? They treat him like dog shit. Supposedly he was mailing back and forth. Vucic, the Vucic administration let the Hashintachi administration know that he was coming, but then they made this big publicity stunt. Uh, etc. Well, Serbians think it was all planned by the Serbian side and the Albanian side to do all these things. I don't know, but I still think it was bullshit that they treated him like dog shit. They treated him like a damn criminal. Viciously, you know? But, it's just my brainwashed American ass, right? So many times, you know, so many of these videos, I'm getting messages where people say, I know you're a Serb. You look like a Serb. You know, I wish I did. I'm a fat, goofy dumbass, and I want to look like a Serbian, but Serbians, the real Serbians, are the reason I don't look good, because this is a good example. My biggest addiction here in this country is this. First time I tried it, I thought Ivar was gross. I didn't expect to, it to taste like it did, you know? Ivar is like a mixture of roasted red peppers, eggplants, and maybe some other things. I don't know. It's different in every part of Serbia. I've been lucky because I know friends from all over this country, north to south, to east to west. Everybody gives me things because they know I like it, you know. But I do nice things for them too. Everybody says, ah, everybody gives you stuff, but you don't do anything for them. I do too. Ask them. You guys who say that, you don't even know me. You've never went out with me. You've never gone to the bar with me when I tip almost every single time at the Nargilla bar, 400 dinara, 500 dinara, every day, pesto dinara. I tip always. Ask the people. I pay for my friends. So I'm not a cheap piece of shit that's begging people for something free. But my friends are nice people, the people I know personally, okay? They're good people. They know I like Ivar. They bring me some. So I've had some Vojvodin Ivar, some Ivar from Zreninen, from a, a kid that I know. Good kid. Brings me some of it because his mother makes tons of it. Really good stuff. But something you really notice when you eat Ivar from different parts of Serbia, it's always very different. And this is from, I'm going for Easter, Uskris, which American Easter, Protestant Easter, Catholic Easter is actually this Sunday. Today's Friday. And that Easter is Sunday. Last year, Protestant Easter, Catholic Easter, and Orthodox Easter was on the same day. This year it's different. This Sunday is Catholic Protestant. Next Sunday, the 8th, I think it is, April 8th, is Orthodox Easter. And for Orthodox Easter, I'm going to the place where this buddy of mine, Bogdan, uh, gave me this. It's in a little place called Trsternik. Trsternik. One of the fucking most ridiculous names I've ever heard. Trsternik. Trsternik. I don't know how to say it. It's got like T-R-S-T. T-R-S-T. Weird. They don't put a vowel in there. There's a vowel missing. Whoever thought of the name Trsternik fucking missed a vowel. It's hard for us to say. But anyway, he gave me this. His mother made this. And I'm excited to try it. No shit. This stuff here is the most addictive substance I've ever had. I can eat a jar of this, no shit, in two days. I eat it for breakfast. I put it on toast. I put it on just a big glob of it. 
if I eat eggs, I put it on chicken, I put it in macaroni and cheese, I put it on every single thing. Because when I first had it, I expected it to be hot as hell, you know, just really hot. Because when somebody said it's pepper stuff, I don't like peppers, peppers mess my stomach up typically. This stuff is absolutely amazing. God made this stuff, okay? And this is from Trstani, so we're gonna try it. And all these Serbians say, oof, fuck, gives me an orgasm when I smell this. It, most beautiful smell oh, that you can ever smell. It's sweet, it's just a really sweet smell. And it's, the stuff isn't sweet, it's got a sweetie, some of it, there's a couple different kinds. You get newt, which is hot, and then the mild version. I like the mild better. The hot can be a little overpowering at times. But this has a little bit of oil on top and almost every Serbian that gives it to me, they don't put any preservatives in here, okay? So this is all straight from the garden, straight into the can. Oh my God, my, can you hear that sizzling in the background? I'm making some chivapi. <laughs> so, to go with this, I'm trying to lose some weight. Is that gonna help? Oh, anyway, this is it. Oh my God, the consistency of this, look at that. It's thick, perfect. It's not runny. The color is orangish. That's something else you notice if you get Ivar from different places in Serbia. Some of them are really, really red. Some of it is orangey, and I really like the orangey. Uh, I have a, oh. Oh. This has got the consistency of maybe, I don't even know how to explain the consistency of Ivar. It's like a, a melon, melony. You know when you, Crush it under your tongue. It's like you're eating a cantaloupe. It's sweet, it's spicy. It's just fucking lovely. There's nothing better than this, really. And I cannot believe that this has not taken off in the United States of America. Unbelievable stuff, my friends, really. And everybody says you can't if you do this with a spoon, you're putting your disease, uh, your disease, your bacteria in here, and you're not supposed to do that. But anyway, I'm eating it, and I know I'm gonna eat this in three days, okay? Well, when I come back from Trstanik, I'll be finished with it. I'm gonna buy some more off of his mother, because this is absolutely phenomenal stuff. Look at that. It's like the consistency of peanut butter here. Some of it's really runny. Dude. If you have never had homemade Ivar, you are really missing out because there's nothing better in the entire world than this. Maybe you're in the USA. Maybe you get this online. You buy it. You can buy it online. There's a couple places you can buy them online, but the store-bought stuff, Serbians always told me that. said, oh, don't eat the store-bought stuff. It sucks. I always thought, oh, man, you're full of shit. They're not full of shit, guys. If you have a grandma or somebody in a small village that makes their own peanut butter textured Ivar like this, that doesn't even fall off the spoon. This is better than sex. I guess I eat more Ivar than I have sex. But <laughs> this is still better than sex, man. Look at the consistency here, Momsi. Look at that. See, look. You can turn the spoon side, the fork sideways, barely falls off. It's orangey. Oh my God. Trsternik. Oh yeah, Bumpty Michael. I dropped it on the side, but I don't care. I'll clean it. It's my last month in this apartment. And I'm going to finish eating this tonight. Clean up. And that's it, folks. Try this stuff. Ivar Bogdan from Trsternik. However you say your name of your freaking town, your mother does a great job. Dovi Genia.